Okay, happy Friday, everybody. I know a lot of you have been asking a lot of questions for our solar videos. So today is a Q&A day. We screenshotted a bunch of questions and we are gonna go over them. I'll go ahead and put them up here. So if it was you that asked a question, thank you. And we will be doing a Model 3 V-Box coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't. We have a ton more solar videos planned. So much going on. It is a great time for our channel right now. So definitely subscribe if you have not. But let's go ahead and get right into these questions. I'm just gonna go ahead and start going through these. I just went through all the videos and grabbed a lot of the best questions because there were a ton of them. There were some duplicates, so we're just gonna go right into it. Um, first question from Matt is how much per watt installed did this system cost? But I, believe, I can, I can oh, get my per calculator. Watt? I think yeah, it per was watt. like 333. 333, somewhere yeah. like that. That's before the tax credits. So 333, and that was something we shopped around. I think we mentioned in a previous video yeah. that we did shop around. We got some other quotes. And in our case, Tesla Energy was actually the one with the, the, the best cheapest, yeah. the best price per watt. Yeah. We were surprised, but they actually had the best deal and they looked the best. They laid out the best with the, the front skirts, the side skirts, yeah. and just being able to get rid of that uh, bathroom ex exhaust vent, yep. but it, it, it's like we were surprised, but Tesla yeah. Energy was actually very competitive yep. and it was just easier to go with them too because they were able to do our Complete power walls integration. at the same time. Complete integration too. We can have one app for the cars, the solar, the power wall, everything. Uh, next question from Mixie. Mixie. Uh, well, it's Mixie Doodle. Mixie Doodle. Love living vicarious through you guys. Well, thank you. Curious why you decided not to wait for a solar roof. It's kind of like a three-part thing. There's a lot that mm. went into it. One, the timeline. Yeah. Solar roof isn't readily available and we kind of wanted to get it installed with our power walls and everything, just get everything done in one go. Also, we do have a very large roof and I think the cost for solar roof is about $30 or so per square foot. Yeah. And, and when we calculated it out, it was gonna be about $100,000 to cover our roof. And that I think was only with a certain percentage of solar coverage. So it's gonna cost $100,000. And if you add in the cost of the new roof, as well as all the energy we're gonna produce over that 30 years, we would just be breaking even. Whereas going with solar panels, we should be able to break mm -hmm. even in probably eight to 10 years. But also not just with price and everything, our roof is still fairly new. If we did need another roof, we probably would have looked at it a little bit differently, but it didn't really make sense to tear off a roof that's so new when we really aren't getting anything that we paid for. And again, back to our house, we have a big stretched it's out a long, house, a lot of roof, a lot of uh, surface area. If you might have a smaller house that's maybe more square or more stories stacked up, that it might be a lot cheaper. It might, be a, might be a better deal for you to get a solar roof. But for us, it, we have so such a big garage, such a big house, it just didn't work for us with the current numbers. Yeah. Uh, next question from Daniel. What is your AC level if DC is 18 kilowatt rated? Um, I don't know that, we'll have to get back to you. But your other question that I really wanted to hit on is, are you going to be using an e-gauge or curb to monitor and log your usage and generation? Right now, it, there is the Nurio that is uh, installed by Tesla right. Energy, and it has some CT scanners, sensors, that are on the wiring that uh, they installed in the gateway. And so we can see some usage right now showing yeah. up when we connect directly to that gateway. And once we get the system turned on, we'll be able to see that usage within the app. And also one thing that we will be adding in the future, we have a mini stick PC with windows that we are going to tie into the gateway and then we can output those numbers to a website which will let us track all of our solar production and, gen and uh, usage throughout the day. Yeah, which actually was another question. That website is? pvoutput.org. Yeah. Yes, so that is what we're gonna be doing. That's another question that somebody asks is if we know about that, and yes, and we we'll, are familiar. We'll go into more detail on that once we actually get things set up and get, yeah. get those exported to that site. What is the process of replacing the shingles on your roof in the future? Will they have to remove and reattach the mounts for the panels th that were sealed up so nicely? Yeah. yeah, they will. <laughs> yeah. We did ask about that. I was wondering if they can just reuse those mounts, but they mm -hmm. said it's faster for them just to remove everything. They will come out and remove your solar panels. You can get your house re-roofed and then they will reinstall them. And that's a, currently a cost of $500 to do that. Yep. Um, Jim, wow, three crews working at once. I'm guessing the summer with 16 kilowatts panels that you should be able to charge your power walls daily. They actually said it should be just a few hours. Uh, but what about in the winter? Do they have a calculation for winters to see how much is left over power that you'll have for your power walls or will you need to draw from the grid? 
we're doing things a little different too with Excel because the way our power supplier works is you can either store or bank your extra PV output or you can cash it in and they'll cut you a check at the end of the year. But that check is so minuscule, they don't pay a lot. We actually decided to bank it during the year so that hopefully in the winter if we can't generate as much, we can just pull our credits back out. Yeah. So for example, if we were to buy power from a company, it might be like 13 cents per kilowatt hour. But in the summer, we're going to be generating a, a surplus. In the winter, we, we might have a deficit. Mm -hmm. But by generating, putting those, a certain number of kilowatts, you know, several hundred kilowatt hours into our bank in mm -hmm. the summer, then we can take those back out in the winter and we won't have to pay that rate. If we were to yeah. sell that electricity, we'd only be selling it for like one and a half cents. So it, it would cost us 10 times as much to, to sell it to them and buy it back. So we yeah. decided to just bank it and take it that way. Kevin says, great vid. We're doing the exact same thing. Congrats. I was curious, can you share your timeline from design appointment to ordering your power wall and solar to install? We're dealing with major delays with the power walls. So yeah, we actually started this process, what, in like January? It was mid-January, mid January. Tesla actually yeah. reached out to us for these guys right here. Uh, they were running through the referral program. If you use our referral code, thank you. But they reached out to us about those and that's when we said we actually would like to look at solar, get that installed at the same time, kind of do it all as one. And so we went through that process and then yeah, power walls were delayed a little bit. And then when they did have them, we just jumped on it. And I think, when did we sign the contract? Was it in like May? Somewhere around May. I think I it was like a May-ish. Because we had, we had a couple back and forth where we were trying to decide yeah, how big of a size. system we wanted. Because they suggested a smaller system that they thought would meet our needs. But we were indicating we have a new car and, mm -hmm. and we definitely thought that we needed more solar. So we tried to push it to the max. And so they had to go back to our utility company and get approval to, to plan a larger system. And after they came back with that, we you know you can see this other video uh, where we've talked about this briefly before. But we went ahead and we were able to add a few more panels to that. And, yeah. and we just wanted to maximize our coverage with the the most efficient panels and the most panels we could get. Yeah, so uh, it did take a little while, but yes, power walls are slightly delayed. I did reach out to Tesla, they did give me word. Anything currently ordered, they are trying to get delivered year end 2018, maybe early 2019, and then and anything ordered now will be delivered early 2019, and their hope is to just get it to about a one month from ordering to install for the power walls, um, and that is their goal. So Kyle, are you using the S? C325 panels. Yes, we are. Yeah, so some of you might have been confused because some of the blogs were reporting we had 350 watt panels installed. Tesla doesn't offer those yet, right. or at least not their homemade, homemade ones. So the ones we got from the Gigafactory 2 in Buffalo are the 325 watt Tesla panels. Uh, looks amazing so far. I got a solar system about two months ago. Congrats. But I'm still waiting on my power walls. How were you able to get yours installed the same day? We were working on it since January, so it wasn't like we called them up like a month ago and said to do it. Uh, we've been working on this project for quite a while. Uh, just a lot goes into the system, the size, and where we live and everything. Also as part of that, there was uh, some discussion where we might have gotten the solar installed without the power walls, mm -hmm. and they asked if that was okay. And we said yes, we just were hoping to have the power walls sometime in the summer. But they were able to go ahead and schedule everything, and we got it all installed on the same week. Uh, Roger, why three inverters? I thought the power wall had everything integrated. So actually the inverters are completely separate than power walls. Power walls are just your home battery backup. The inverters are actually what go AC to DC from your solar. So they are separate and it, we have three because they separated it so that if some panels were shaded or something, it didn't kill everything. But also just the size of our system, I believe our inverters are a five kilowatt, five kilowatt, and a seven it's, kilowatt, it's something like, like that. It's like 5.2, 5.2, and 7.6. Yeah. There are inverters in the power wall, but those are totally unrelated. Yeah, yeah, they're completely... For solar. Yeah. Um, Michael, why did you want everything run outside? I would have done as much as possible inside. Well, like this is like a show garage, so we didn't really want it run in here, and we couldn't run anything in the attic because we don't have an attic. So really outside was our only option, and that was our request, is to run everything outside as much as possible. They were perfectly fine putting the conduit for these in the garage, but we wanted everything to look nice. This is a show garage, as I call it, and we just didn't want conduit running around. But well, if that's something you want, you can yeah. get it. Also, that's the back of the house, so there is, nobody yeah. will ever see that except for our one or two neighbors that live behind us. So it's, nobody yeah. will see it. Ken, are you guys going to go off grid? As much as we would mm -hmm. like to, technically, you can't. Yeah, we're not so, really allowed to. I think you have yeah. to be connected to the grid. Once you're connected, you have to stay connected, yeah. basically. But, but 
pretty much we shouldn't be using any electricity as we mentioned yeah. before in the summer and hopefully for most of the spring and fall as well yeah so we'll just have that admin fee Luis asks, so what is the price? Just curious. Um, so we kind of talked a little bit about it already. It was three thirty-three a watt. Uh, it came about fifty-five thousand dollars just for the PV system, the solar panels. Uh, the power walls were referral winnings, and as were the high power or wall connectors. So they that was just solar. And again, there's tax credits, which, yeah. which greatly reduced the price of that. So yeah, that is an expensive system, but this is a large system. Yeah. Gary says, very cool day. So I'm guessing you're building 16 to 17 kilowatt roof solar system. Correct. In that you'll be charging two plus cars that will cover you both for 15,000 miles a year, plus your house. Can you share what you guess your daily house usage will be? Like 24 kilowatts to 30 kilowatts a day. It's going to be fun seeing your Tesla Powerwall app in action. Agreed, we are very excited to see this. I think we'll be able to cover it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. We don't have central heat and AC, which is a huge power sink for a lot of people. So we are lucky on that side. Um, and we don't really use necessarily a ton of power except for the cars. Yeah, and for our daily usage, I think before when we only had two cars charging every day, I think it was right about 60 kilowatt hours per day. Mm -hmm. Now that we're gonna have three, it, it might be closer to 70 or 75, but I think we should be able to, to cover most of that through solar generation and storing it in the power walls. Uh, Mr. Derek says drink every time Eric says conduit. Mm -hmm. Well, I looked and I actually only said it six times. So if you drink, that's actually not terrible. Mixy Doodle again says any idea on the wattage difference would have been on a full solar roof. Well, actually it would have been the same. You could have, yeah. Because we went the max that our energy provider would let us. So we could have done the exact same amount. You could have done more if allowed. You could have done less. But then what they do with the solar roof is they max it out to that level and then the other pieces they install are actually just like dummies. Glass tiles. Or yeah, glass tiles. Gla glass tiles. They don't generate they don't, any solar, yeah. they just protect the roof and, yep. and, and make it look seamless. DIO, I hope you're a mountain climber because things get dirt, leaves, dust, bird stuff, uh, affect panels greatly and you will be on the roof cleaning them every damn day. Other than that, congratulations. Well, not really. Um, so the panels actually do have like a coating that is uh, easy to clean off, but also rain helps clean them, snow helps clean them, you can get a hose technically if you need to clean them, yeah. but being what they have on them, they actually, from what I've talked to a lot of other owners, you don't really have to do much at all. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll keep you guys updated, but from what I've talked to other owners, it's not really an issue. Uh, Gerald states, based on your cost per kilowatt hour, how many years will it take to get your cost back? So again, we, we kind of touched on that briefly before, but depending on, I even calculated it by which array, which mounting plane we're looking at, that some of them I think are going to be about eight years and the other ones are about 10 years to pay back. All right, we have a ton of questions here, so we're going to kind of zoom through them a little bit. If you would like more explanation, definitely let us know. But also we'll be doing another one of these soon, so if you have any more questions, definitely just put them down below or on any video. What electrical loads do you have to need 16 kilowatt array? Well, three the, cars. The biggest thing is three Teslas. Scott says, how much space dimensions do the power wall cover on the wall? How much room is free under the power walls? Well, let's measure, shall we? 29 and a half inches wide, 44 inches tall, and about 40 and a half inches up. And we did have to space the power walls about 10 inches apart from each other just because there are some exhaust vents on the right side and they need to allow the, the hot air to come out of each of those. So one other thing is you don't have to mount the power walls up high like we did. We did this because we have the, the Founders Edition and we wanted to display them. But if you don't have enough room or if you have some shelving or something, you can actually mount the power walls down on the floor and you can stack them up to three deep. So you could have three power walls in this, in, you know, within that much space if you yeah. mount them on the floor. Lewis asked, why the two meters? So one of the meters on the side of the house is gonna be for power coming in and going out, and one is going to be just the solar generation meter. Is there a building code that forces you to put your inverters outside in the elements instead of the garage? No, they just like to put them next to your panel because that's easier. Um, some people can put them in their garage. Yeah. We just didn't mind having them right there, so we just left them there. And our electrical panel, our main panel, is on the other side of the house, so we again, we put them as close to the main panel as possible. Matthew, I thought solar panels were extremely fragile. Nope, we have a video on that coming soon. You will see how actually strong they are. Uh, Maurice, what job do you guys have? Two really expensive Teslas, a hell of a house, and so many solar panels. So I actually get this question a lot, and I figured, eh, we're just gonna throw this in. So I actually work in biotech during the day. That's like my day job. 
And then I do have a couple other companies on the side. So I, I'm always working. <laughs> it's we, kind we, of a thing. We keep busy, yeah. yeah. And I'm a programmer. Why is one Powerwall different than the other two? So the two on the outside are actually hand signed by Elon Musk, JB Straubel, and Franz. And this one is not signed, but you guys open invitation if you want to come sign it. You're welcome to come over. Um, but basically, back during the referral program, when yep. they first started offering power walls, they offered the signed ones, but they only offered that for the very first referral program. Then in later referral programs, they opened it up and they started offering the unsigned ones, mm -hmm. and they made it so you only needed like three instead of five or, or ten. I yeah. don't remember. I don't care for the roof insulation and all the surface mount conduits and conduits under the eaves. Looks third world. Why not do a cleaner job and have it inside the roof? Well, unfortunately, we don't have an attic they could run it in. Yeah. But I don't think I've seen very many, if at all, in the attic, so that might be a code thing too. Um, but yeah, we don't even have an attic to consider it. So all things considered though, I think it does look actually not bad. And again, They ran as much as they could under the yeah. panels. Uh, yeah, it, they did a really good job going through the soffit and stuff instead of them going up and around. And again, nobody's ever going to see that. It's at the back of the house yeah. and we only have like two neighbors behind us. So. Uh, can you ask the Tesla guys tomorrow why there's no orange stickers going along the conduit for the wall boxes? Well, funny you mentioned that because actually on the last day they did label and sticker everything. I'll insert an image here. So that was all taken care of. Good, good eye though. Jai, how much does it cost to replace a panel if it gets damaged? So actually they're under warranty for 25 years. So in 25 years, as long as if something is damaged, we shouldn't really have to worry about it. Uh, after that, I believe to buy them is probably like four or $500. That's rough, a, rough estimate. But that's the current price. In 20 yeah. years, these will probably cost, you know, oh, yeah. 20, 30 dollars. And be like 10 times the efficiency. Yes. Uh, Nigel, people with money want to save money. And we want to save the planet too. It's not just about saving money, it's about getting rid of fossil fuels. I mean, the sun's there. Why not harness it? Yeah, if everybody just had a few panels in the house, we wouldn't need all these coal plants or nope. nuclear plants and all these, you know, other plants. Lisa. Okay, but where do you keep all your crap, your shovels, your hoses, on and on? Do you have a shed? Well, we actually used to keep it right here on some racks. You probably saw in some other videos. But again, we're trying to make this garage look super nice. I have a lot of videos that we plan on filming in here. So we decided to make it nice. We have this unit, which has a bunch of tools. We have two wall units. And then actually, the original garage, which is a two-car garage, has a double level. There's actually a floor above. Two story and, garage. Yep, so all up there is where we now keep everything and it actually works out great. Looks super clean down here. Couldn't be happier. PG, how many charge cycles will those power walls last? I don't know exactly, but they are built to cycle daily for like 10 years. Yeah, and I mean, these are the same batteries that are in a Model 3. So think of it that way too. Uh, Matt asks, are you going to epoxy the garage flooring? Exciting stuff on the garage floor coming soon, I promise. Just hang tight. Ninja, not the gamer, writes, how do you get energy in the winter when it's all covered by snow? Well, actually here in Colorado, the snow doesn't generally last but a, normally a day or two, unless it's like a blizzard or something. I guess we'll find out and we'll yeah. definitely report we'll back. Definitely have to keep track of that. Let's see, Malcolm says, did you not consider the roof in all black panels? Well, the roof we did, the black panels we even did too, but they're less efficient. They're only 315 watts, these are 325. Yes, 10 watts is pretty minor, but when you multiply it by 51 panels, that's half a kilowatt, multiply that minute. through the whole year, that's actually quite a big number. It, it adds up, and also those black panels cost nearly the same price yeah. as the more efficient ones. And since we were trying to get the most power generation possible, we went ahead and went with these. Um, Sergio asked, can you provide the measurements of those panels? And yes, I can. I actually looked it up for you and it is. I'll just point out that all residential panels are the same measurements, whether it's from Panasonic or Tesla yep. or, or LG or whatever, they're a standard size. Yep. And these panels are 62.6 inches by 41.46 inches by 1.38 inches and weigh approximately 40.81 pounds a piece. I guess that was it. Cool. Well, I guess that was the last question. Uh, thank you guys so much. And if you do have any questions, definitely leave them below. I'll be a lot more active in the comments section answering you guys, but also for future Q and A's, if you have anything, definitely put it down there and we will get it either one way or another. As always though, if you are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. If you're looking for a new or inventory model S or X, 
or just added a Performance Model 3, feel free to use our referral code. It will actually get you free unlimited supercharging for the life you own your vehicle. And currently, that is the only Model 3 that allows it is the Performance Model 3. After September 16th, you will only get one year free of supercharging. So if you really wanna get in on this unlimited free supercharging, definitely get an order in prior to September 16th. And also, the referral code does work for solar panels. We actually used a referral code for ours because it adds five years extra to your warranty. And it helps out, I think we have a 25 year warranty now on our panels, which is amazing. So feel free to use that if we have helped you in any way. And definitely drop us a line if you do use our code because we are gonna have a big party and wanna invite you guys out for your, and thank you for your support for when we take delivery of our next gen Roadster. We're gonna do test rides, test drives, we'll rent out a drag strip, it'll be a huge event, definitely a lot of fun. Also point out that you can use a referral code no matter where you are in the world. We've yeah. had people from all over the world who've asked us, and they said, yes, feel free to use it. We Just recently, I think the most recent one was from France. So, yeah. merci beaucoup. Yeah, and, and we've had some even from like Australia and everything. So like a lot of people planning on coming out for this party from pretty much worldwide, so it should be an awesome time, as always. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here area to subscribe here for other videos. And we'll see you guys on Monday. Actually, we will not see you on Monday. We will see you with a VBOX video of the Model 3 performance on Saturday. Should be Saturday. Broadway is black like a sinkhole. Everyone race to the suburbs. And I'm on the rooftop with curious strangers. This is the artist of summer.